Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Oz with Colorado Custom Game Calls. Duck season's right around the corner. I'm getting my John Bone out, getting her prepped up for next season. So I was going to give you a tour, so stay tuned, show you how this bad boy's set up. Okay, so the boat is a 1976 Monarch. It is 16 foot long and at the widest point it kind of bows out like this. Uh, it is 52 inches at the widest point. Um, I believe the bottom is a 48 inch uh, so it's technically a 48 inch beam. Um, so it is powered by a 50 horsepower 500 Thunderbolt Mercury. It's a 1974 obviously a two-stroke um, but that motor runs really really well for this boat um, up front here i've got a trolling motor um, it is just a simple uh, Minn Kota. Uh, it is a 50 pound, 55 pound thrust it's not a foot control or uh, like the autopilot with the remote it's just a simple you dump it over the side and it's got a handle at the top with you know speed adjustments reverse and forward all that kind of stuff um, as far as the blind, the blind I bought partially made on Facebook. I got it uh, from a gentleman down by Denver. He had it on a different boat, but he didn't finish it. Now, one thing I want to mention, in Colorado, there's only two reservoirs that I'm aware of that you can physically shoot your shotgun from the vessel. Um, one of them is Pueblo Reservoir, and the other one is Jackson Reservoir. And I'm closer to Jackson than anything else. So this is where this boat's going to go this opening day on uh, duck season. Um, the blind itself is about roughly 14 feet. The blind material is 18 feet. So this blind material, it's just a dark, grassy material. Uh, it's got a cargo net on the front for natural vegetation if I want it. But it's got the leaf cutouts on it which is nice but they're also a pain because they tend to catch on everything but it does do a good job with this blind new for this year that i did was these grass mats on both sides of the blind and the roof um, and i'll give you a close-up of those right now okay so here is the bow of the john boat now just to be clear this is a true bottom flat bottom boat there is no mod v there is no v on the on the underside of the boat or I guess the bow side the stir or the the bow rise of the boat there is no V so it is a true flat bottom boat again this is a 1976 Monarch up front here I've got a 30 inch straight light bar this does really well especially in dark conditions um, on the water underneath that I've got my bow lights I've got my green and my red LEDs um, up front here underneath this uh, camo here is the trolling motor. There's the trolling motor head right there. And again, forward reverse, but it's not foot controlled. It's just by that handle there. Um, these red straps that you're going to see, I got some more right here. Um, this is for when the blind is folded down and it just helps tie everything together and makes it where if it's going to bounce, it's all going to bounce as one and kind of keep everything tight when it is in transport mode. Um, so it is similar to a scissor blind, but it doesn't set up like a scissor blind. So what I did was this is made out of three quarter inch conduit and half inch conduit in some spots. So and some square tubing. So it actually pins right up here. Um, when this lays down, it's gonna lay down flat like that. I gotta kinda tuck the grass and the blind material into the boat a little bit, unpin both sides at the bow and the stern, and then it's gonna lay flat down like this. So it doesn't have a scissor action, but the opening of this is like a scissor blind. So that's how they're pinned in the front and the stern. As far as the roof here, this material, this gray grassy leaf material it's just, it's similar to uh like the leafy material that you would see say on burlap or something it's a little softer than that which i kind of like but uh it's all it is is a half inch conduit here 
I did have to make an extension to get over the uh, console and everything there, but this just flips back and forth and it's pretty smooth. Um, we haven't got to test it technically yet. I have sat in the boat and tested it to make sure I'm not going to bang my head, but we are going to be using this uh, here in just a short couple of weeks. Um, like I said, the blind grass material up front, the grass mats, um, that's all new for this year. They are somewhat heavy, which I was a little shocked about. Um, I'm not concerned about weight capacities or anything like that. But uh, these are just on one side, it's four by four foot long uh, inch, or I'm sorry, four by four foot grass mats. So there's four separate mats here. And uh, we just zip tied them to the top here. When we go into transport mode, I just kind of tuck them in there and then I'll drop the pins on the bow and the stern and I'll drop this down. And then I use those red straps to suck everything back up tight. Now, the nice thing with the blind material is that it's extra long so I can get over the, the motor of the boat here to hide it. Um, here you go. This is the this is the motor. It is a uh, 74 uh, Mercury 50 horse 500 Thunderbolt two stroke really happy with this motor never really had a problem with it other than like regular maintenance and things of that nature um i got that in a package deal from a gentleman so this was not on the boat originally originally this boat had a 35 horse johnson and it was a 15 inch shaft this one here is a 20 inch shaft and this thing pushes this boat beautifully i can do Without the blind, I haven't done it with the blind yet, but without the blind, I can do with two people, I can do about 23, 24 miles an hour in this bad boy. Over here, I have my four inch pucks. I've got one on each side. These are handy because it does help with shining out light when we are deploying decoys and things of that nature. Here is, uh, I got two gas tanks, two old school uh, gas tanks. Here's the back of the boat. So I have a seat here. I have the captain's chair right there and then i've got a chair above uh in front of the console here um i've got these little caddies right here so you can hold drinks that middle square caddy is perfect for a box of shells uh all the way up to three and a half inch which is really really handy we don't typically through shoot three and a half inch shells at ducks typically they're two and three quarter or three inch but they that is perfect it is a really handy little feature on every chair of the boat, except the captain's chair. It is mounted right next on left side of the console there. Uh, I got rod holders there. Obviously, we're duck hunting, so I don't have any rod holders or rods in them right now. But the nice thing with this is there's no benches or anything. So you got the floor space to move around if you need to. And uh, everybody has their own seat, uh, which is nice and handy. Now, the one thing with this blind, too going back to the blind real quick is the secondary bar here this is super handy right here because it keeps the blind off of you to keep the laneway here open so you're not having to fight the weight of the material or the wind and pushing the blind back in on you or you're fighting this it keeps it helped out and that's just uh bolted right here to the main beam of that three quarter inch conduit um coming around here just the other side, this is the other side of the boat. There's the grass mats. Here's kind of a semi top view. Okay, now the boat does sit like this, right? It does have a downward slope towards the bow while it's on the trailer with the truck. But when I get the boat in the water, it does level out and you have typically more weight in the back because you have the motor as well. Plus you have my fat ass on top of that. So it does, it does level out when we're out on the water, so don't be concerned with that. And I've also got it kind of cinched down here with the uh, with the strap there. Um, here's the front of the boat one more time. So right up here, uh, right behind the seat is our, my battery box. There's two batteries in it, one for the main drive of the 50 horsepower motor back there. And then everything else is ran on a separate battery for not only the trolling motor, but all the accessories on top of it. And that is all the lights, the bilge pump, uh, the lights in the back, the stern light, the bow light, the, the LED bar, all that fun stuff. All right, so we are up in the blind now on the boat. Um, just wanted to show the room in here. I got a little guest here, my daughter Magnolia. Can you say hi, Pickle? Mm -hmm. Say hi. I did. Say hi to the people. I did. Okay, all right. 
So anyway, I'm in the captain's chair currently with the roof over my head. So yes, it does touch my head, but when I go to flip the bar back, it just it's gonna fall back and I'm, I'm not gonna be too worried about it. So right behind me here, I have the uh, first mate seat, I guess you could call it. Uh, and here I got a storage tub. Um, that is basically just um, uh, tools, uh, supplies, a cup in case the bilge pump doesn't work for some reason. Uh, and I've got uh, two stroke oil in that. Um, here's the uh, little caddy I was talking about that's attached to the seats, like I mentioned. Now here's the console. So my grandpa made this console back, oh, I want to say in 80, or I'm sorry, no, it would have been 92, I think, is when he made this. This button here is the kill switch because it doesn't work with the key. That's just the old part of uh, these old Murr controllers uh, back in the day. Here I got the uh, panel that I was talking about earlier. Right now we're at 12.8 volts. I can turn uh, pretty much anything on that I want. Um, yeah, it's it's handy. Um, USB and 12 volt socket on that. Here I just have a GoPro mount uh, just to film inside the blind. And then there is the Garmin Striker 4 there as well. Um, there's my daughter's light up boots. You have any words, Pickle? Mm -hmm. What? Those are cool boots, huh? <laughs> uh, right up here, there's a, I don't know if you can see it too well because it's a little darker. There is a milk crate that's got a bow anchor in it. And then I usually keep one in the back as well. So there you go, guys. That is my John boat. Um, really happy with it. I'm really excited to use it this season. Um, if you guys need anything or you have any questions on the boat, the build, the blind, anything like that, uh, don't hesitate to reach out at ColoradoCustomGamePalls.com. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks.